hope you're having a fantastic day. I wanted to pop in because I received a question recently that got me thinking and I thought you might want to hear the answer. So often whenever we are using PayPal or we have different transactions that are happening, the question had to do with PayPal. I actually took a screenshot of it so I could share it with you. So if we've never met before, hi, I'm Candace Camper, and I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And so today's question had to do with PayPal and sales. So they have already set up their PayPal and they already know how to handle it. But a new transaction came in, which was an affiliate sale. And they're like, how do I handle that? Is that income? I have an income account, but I usually use sales receipts to track my PayPal. How do I handle that in my QuickBooks? And it made me think about some of the behind the scenes that I love to teach inside Comps QuickBooks about thinking about starting with the end in mind. Have you ever attended one of my customizing QuickBooks workshops? Because I talk about it there as well. And so I want to go in. I'm going to jump in and share my, my uh, we'll do QuickBooks online just because I already have it open. But I kind of want to talk about starting with the end in mind and when you're thinking about something like this, why it's important to be thinking that way. Okay. So when you're setting up your QuickBooks and different types of transactions come in. I get this question all the time. Like now we have this that happened. What do I do? And that's where you ask yourself, what do I want to see it on? What type of reports do I need? That's why I say starting with the end in mind is so important, right? So when we come over here, we're thinking, okay, we had some new money come in, but I, it's not on the way I usually track it, which is sales receipts in this example. So what we want to think about is, Hmm, where do we want to see it on our reports? And as you may have learned from one of my trainings, if you've been to them before, is that these accounts, when we're looking, so what I clicked on was I went to reports and then I just clicked on profit and loss, right? So income and expenses show up on what report? Your profit and loss report. So we're looking over here at our income categories. And so what she was sharing in her comment is I have an income category but I don't know how to put it on my sales receipt, right? And so what we're doing when we're doing sales receipts is we're typically using what's called a product or service. So what's happening behind the scenes, whether you are a desktop user or an online user, is when you are using an invoice or a sales receipt, behind the scenes, what the software is doing is it's saying, you're saying this product or service goes to this income account. So what we, we're explaining to her that she need to do is set up a new item. Okay. So that's what you would need to do as well. Whenever you want to use an invoice or a sales receipt, whether you're desktop or online, you have to set up if your desktop, an item, if you're online, it's called a product or service. And your list is right here for online users specifically. But what you're doing is when you're setting these up and you want to use them on a sales receipt or an invoice to track a new type of sale, you want to go in and create this, right? So you could go create new, it's going to be maybe a service and then you're going to come in here and you're you're adding the name and you're adding all of these details but the key to making it all work behind the scenes so if you already have an income account in your chart of accounts you want to select that account here when you're setting up a service okay why because when you use products and services or items if you're a desktop user it will give you an extra report that extra report which i love to teach you guys is the sales by item summary report and what this will give you let's just drop it down to this year for convenience is the detail of each one so when you're starting with the end in mind i'll back up just a little bit and you say i want and you have a new sale and i want to see it on my profit and loss you ask yourself, do you already have, these are the questions you ask yourself, do you already have an income category in your chart of accounts? That's the first thing to ask yourself. Is the kind of account that I want to see it on my profit and loss already created? Because these accounts are what show up on your profit and loss. So we're just kind of summarizing it. Then you say, I want to also see it because I'm using invoices or sales receipt because there's three ways to track your income in QuickBooks. These are two of the three. The other is just going straight to recording in the deposit, um, going straight like to the income account. If that's the case, then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've set up your products and services to then link to that income account that you want to see it on. Okay. That's the behind the scenes. That's where when you say, this is how I want to see it, where you say, I want to start with the end in mind. This is how I want it on my different reports. Then you go back and you go, okay, 
I have the, do I have the income category created? Yes or no. Now, do I need to create the item or the product and service? They're, they're the same thing, just depending on which version you use, that's going to then put that sale in the correct account on my profit and loss. And that's how, this is like the thing I love the most. This is how you take your QuickBooks and really start customizing it and designing it for your business, which is saying, which services do we offer and have we designed our QuickBooks so that we can easily pull reports to know, let's say affiliate income, which was her question. Do I want one affiliate account on my profit and loss, but I wanna know which types of income we received through affiliates on the back end, which is gonna be that sales by item report I was sharing with you. So this may or may not be something that you need, but I wanted to give you, I really want you to be thinking about what do I need to see on my reports? How do I start with what I call the end in mind? You're entering all this data, but if you're not thinking about where it's gonna go, it's not gonna give you what you need on your report to help you make decisions and make tax time way easier. So let me know if this makes sense. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thank you for being part of my community and I look forward to seeing you inside our next tip and trick. And if you wanna make sure you get them in your inbox, you can go up above or down below to get receive them. And then always subscribe so you don't miss our next tip and trick. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, let me know if this helped you.